but the two big shows were in this big theater. Rock the Jukebox is, of course, a jukebox musical, focusing on dancing to iconic rock tunes through the decades. It begins with this couple discovering a covered old 50s jukebox. Oh, my mistake, it's a 90s jukebox. <laughs> and it's a jukebox that controls her mood because she acts different based on what song is playing. I mean, if you're just gonna drop her at every record scratch, you should keep your hands to yourself. Don't rock the jukebox. Now you've done it, you've set off the jukebox violence alarm. You know, this is why some stations pulled the Happy Days pilot mid-airing. Now there's a bunch of dancers. Well, I guess they broke the jukebox because now they have to do their own singing. This jukebox town where jukeboxes are left abandoned around every corner. Wait, you're a fully grown adult and your grandparents are my parents' age? God, I'm old. Dancing on a piano. It's not just for FAO Schwartz anymore. Oh sure, when my friends try to spin around the piano I'm dancing on, we get kicked out of the George Winston concert. <laughs> She has an awfully big smile for this particular song. Now don't get me wrong, I love Yesterday, but this seems like a melancholy choice for a show called Rock the Jukebox. Like, there are so many upbeat, danceable tunes the Beatles did, and this looks more like an in-memoriam for the band. You know half of them are still with us, knock on wood, right? <laughs> I've been trapped behind this song title. First I was afraid, <laughs> I was petrified. Yes, in the history of rock music, it goes straight from the Beatles to white people covering Gloria Gaynor. Are they trying to imply that this is the response to yesterday? Like, this is why she had to go? You actually do know she did say and you just weren't listening? The something wrong you said was trying to hurt her with goodbye? And in accordance with Beetlejuice law, are we going to get a version of It's Raining Men later? Let's go! So this show isn't really Rock the Jukebox anymore, is it? It's more of Disco the Jukebox. And they're attacking the audience! They're gonna arson up this whole place, aren't they? Before you take me to Funky Town, I just need to know, is it another jukebox town? Because I can only live in jukebox towns. I mean, I hope so, because otherwise why do we come to a show explicitly about rocking a jukebox? So we get a little Guns N' Roses and a little Kansas. individual numbers in this show are well done, but even by jukebox musical standards, I'm not noticing a particularly coherent theme. 
Like, at the start, it seemed like they were doing a History of Rock theme, but that was abandoned really quickly. This playlist doesn't have much of a flow, it's just, uh, let's do this song next. The most coherent part in a show called Rock the Jukebox was the disco medley. Oh wait, we've gone from Kansas to Boston, so I guess the coherent theme is now bands named after places. So next we're gonna get Chicago. Nope, it's Journey. And how do you get to Kansas or Boston? By taking a journey! It still ties together. Eh? Eh? The top recording artists are just a click away. On Rhapsody, Pandora, MySpace, and YouTube. You kids today with your MySpaces. In my day, the only way we had to hear music was mariachi bands on the subway. Don't start acting all older than thou now, you 22-year-olds. Hey there, throwing another concept at us now. Could have been fun if the whole show was mashups like this, but hey. And a heartfelt tribute to Michael, because 2012 was during that window when he was briefly uncancelled. This might be more meaningful with one of the songs from his solo career. highly condensed medley of his solo stuff. Are you telling Billy Jean to beat it? Might be a bad look. was the confusing mishmash of spectacle that was Rock the Jukebox. Jukebox, Jukebox, Jukebox. 